What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about chords. Um, I want to preface the tutorial by saying that I am by no means an expert on chords or uh, music theory for that matter. Um, I've kind of learned, you know, on my own and know what I know. And really my goal with these tutorials is to just get your appetites going so that uh, you know, if there's a little stumbling block that you're having or learning curve that you need to kind of get over the hump, you know, maybe one of these tutorials will help you do that and get, get to a point where a little light bulb might go off and help you to, uh, to motivate you to go to the next level. So uh, with that in mind, let's talk about chords. Now, what is a chord? Well, a chord is when you play three notes or more uh, three different notes, I should say, simultaneously. For example, this is a chord. And if you look on the screen, you can see that I've pressed the C, the E, and the G. And that's a C major chord. Now, I want to bring up a, a website to help me explain this and you've seen this website in my scales tutorial and the website is called a uh, chord house but it's located at looknohands.com what I like about this particular site is on one side you have a chord builder pretty much and on the other side you have a scale builder so you can uh, very easily just find scales and and chords uh, without having to uh, to memorize all of them. And uh, I've already talked about scales, but one thing about chords is you need to know what scale you're going to be in in order to build a proper chord. For example, you could not build a minor... Uh, well, let me take this back. For example, if you're playing in a C major scale, you could not play a C minor chord within that scale. And I'm going to show you why in, in one second. First, let's look at what, what we're going to start with, a C major scale. So we've selected C here as our root note, and we've selected major here as our um, scale type. And if we look at the piano keyboard above, we can see that the C major scale contains C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. In other words, all the white notes uh, in a particular octave on the keyboard. Okay, so uh, now that we've verified what notes are in our scale, let's go look at a chord within that scale. So we're going to look at a chord called a C major chord. And we select on this side, we select C and major. <clears throat> and you can see the chord is notated as C, E, and G, which is what I played earlier. It sounds like that. Okay, so how do we build that chord from the C major scale? Well, there's a couple of ways of doing it. One is by intervals, which is no notated down here in the details section. Uh, the intervals are 1, 3, and 5, and basically what's that, what that is saying is that you take the first note of the scale, the third note of the scale, and the fifth note of the scale, and in this case it returns C, E, and G. And if we go back to the scale and we look at the first note is C, the third note is indeed E, and the fifth note is G. So C, E, and G is our C major scale. But really, a better way of describing how to build a chord from a scale, rather than the intervals, let's talk about half steps. Because the half steps will allow you to build this chord in any major scale very easily. And all you have to remember is, is 4 and 3. So, for example, we start on the C and we go four half steps. And a half step means just go to the next available note, regardless of its, of its color. So if it's uh, C, a half step would be to the black key here, uh, which is C sharp. Another half step would be back here down to the D. 
and then another one would be D sharp, and another one would be E. So that's how we count half steps. So we're going to count four half steps. So we start on C, and we go one, two, three, four. And yep, there we go. We landed on E. So four, we have our root note C. We have our fourth half step, uh, which is E. And then if we look at our formula down here, the second number is three. So from the E, we count three half steps. One, two, three, and we get to the G. So using this formula, four and three, we're able to build a major chord from our major scale, from our C major scale. Now that formula will work in any major scale. So we can go to, for example, an E major scale. Okay, so I've just built the E major scale, and if we remember four and three, um, let's let's figure it out. E is our first one, so we're going to include that. Then we're going to go four, one, two, three, four, which is G sharp. Okay, and then we're going to go three, one, two, three, which is B. So we need E, G sharp, and B for an E major chord. And let's just go build that over here to verify. E major, and then look, there it is. E, G sharp, and B. So by remembering this formula, we can build that, that chord, the, that major chord from any major scale really easily. But what about minor scales? What about other types of scales? Well, let's take a look at that. I'm going to bring up uh, an A melodic minor scale, okay? And the reason why I did that is because they're all white notes in an A minor scale. It's A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Uh, and you can see they're all white notes. Well, okay, so now let's let's think about this. Let's what happens if we try to build a major chord from this scale? Well, remember the formula of four and three. So we start on A and we go one, two, three, four. Now the four happens to land on a C sharp, which lo and behold is not in this scale, which means playing an A major chord in a song that's using an A minor scale is not going to sound all that great. So we generally don't want to do that. Okay, so now what do we have to do is we have to figure out how do we build a minor chord. Well, let's go look it up. So let's select A on the chords over here and let's find the minor notation which is the small m. You know, a large m usually means major like it's notated here A and with the large m is major. So when we go to A minor, that's a small m and we've got a different formula. A 3 and a 4. Okay? So 3 and 4. In other words, it's kind of the reverse in a way because the other one was 4 and a 3. But let's go back to our A, mi a minor scale and let's build that. Now we know we're going 3 and 4. So that's A. Now we're going to go 1, 2, 3, which gives us C. And it is included in the scale. Then we're going to go 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have our E. So it's A, C, and E. And let's just verify that with the A minor. Of course, there it is, A, C, and E. So now you know the formula for building a minor chord from any minor scale. And really, I mean, that's all there is to it. Now, there are ways of playing chords that are a little bit different. And you probably want to just be aware of that. Uh, let's bring up FL Studio for a second. Let's take a look at that. So here we have our keyboard, and, and we're going to talk about... Actually, let's go back to the C major, which is right there, okay? As long as we're using the three notes, C, E, and G, we can play that scale. So I can take this G and drop it down to this one and play the, play the chord. That's one way of playing a C major. Even though my lowest note is a G, I still have all the notes I need to uh, signify the C major chord. So I can play it like this. 
or like this. And you can hear they've got a slightly different tonality to them. And uh, it helps if you're going to be doing progressions later on, you might want to switch up to just give, give a little bit more uh, interest to your progressions. But again, we'll cover that in the chord progression tutorial. So we've dropped the G, and that's basically uh, considered an inverted uh, scale. So, but you could also drop the E. So instead of playing this E, play it down there, and let's go with the lower G. So that's a C major. That's a C major. That's a C major. And you could hear they all kind of have the same feel to them, but with a slightly different tonality because of the uh, lower the lower keys. And you could play them higher or lower, whatever, and mix them up. But there you go. That's what a chord is. That's how you build a chord. Um, you can add a lot more fullness and richness to your uh, music by using chords, especially with things like strings. Um, chords are also useful for playing some rhythmic patterns there's a lot you can do with it so you know experiment and uh, expand your mind a little bit and uh, just go with it and hopefully you'll be interested enough to read more about it maybe buy a book or go to a website or something there's a lot of uh, resources out there to help you if you're just interested enough to go looking for it and uh, please remember to uh, tell all your friends about the website www.warbeats.com and uh, have fun, and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.